Hey, so I've been asked how I do my videos currently, what's like my workflow and such. And given that right now I am away in vacation and I don't have anything to do for a week, like at least I'm doing this video before, but when when I publish this, it's, it's going to be vacation. I thought I would do this random video showing my workflow for those interested. So first of all, let me tell you that this is my room. It looks quite bad. It's literally just one room. And whenever I'm recording, it's a mess because I have to move things around a lot. But you can just get an idea. Like I, I sleep here when there's nothing on it. And then this is my habits tracker, which is usually kind of empty because I'm super busy and I don't have time to do anything. I've got uh, a library with some cool stuff like drawings, books, drawings by Reveille. Revelius, by the way, which is so good. You know, a bunch of things. And then, of course, I've got the recording setup. Basically, half of my room is my studio. So how I'm doing this currently is... So for the lights, which is the sim easier part, I've got behind me uh, three LED RGB lights, which are of... Um, how is it called? Something. I don't know. I, I bought them on Amazon and they work really great. And again, I can control them by my phone which gives me the possibility to do a lot of cool things like yes this is red and blue I can also do yellow and green and to be honest I can do literally whatever I want with them like I don't know green and red or I can even do like very light stuff I just can do whatever I think uh, that stuff like this can look decently good and then because I'm using just the center one right now so it's kind of aura around me and then there's blue which works particularly well let me show you this is what everything is blue looks like now wait like this okay this is all blue and i think it works really well uh, you know I, I just can have fun with colors behind me i do use a couple of mirrors because i want all the light to be on the wall and not in the rest of the room of course that's not gonna be perfect but it's crazy cheap and then I've got my main lights for the focused person, which is uh, here, an Elgato uh, K Light Air, which I bought on Facebook Marketplace for 60 bucks. And then here I've got my other light, which is, you know, to for the other half of the base, otherwise face, otherwise I would look like this, which cool, but uh, no. And this is actually just an IKEA light bulb. It's a smart, so I can just control it if I want it, but uh, I don't see any reason to actually. Then, of course, there's the main source of light in my room, but I never use that whilst recording. It's just, you know, the, the light bulb. It's also smart, but, you know, <laughs> this is the light setup. Then I've got my camera right over there. And it's a Fujifilm X-T3, which I also bought on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It is using a lens, which is f slash uh, 1.2, uh, I think, to the minimum. But I use it at uh, 1.4, 1.8, maybe 1.6, I don't remember. And it's manual focus, which means that I have to always stay still in the same place. Otherwise, I get out of focus. It's very annoying. And its focal length is 35 millimeters, which actually makes me sit very far from the camera, but also means that the background is captured correctly. Like it's only the background, it doesn't gather anything else, which is pretty nice. By the way, I forgot to mention, but yes, I do also have LED straps of lights throughout my room, but those don't actually contribute to the video anymore because they're not bright enough. But you know, it still looks cool, I guess. What else? Yes, uh, I was talking about the camera. So how I do this, how I record my videos is, uh, actually talk about the microphone first. So the microphone is a Samsung Q2U. This is the second one I buy. I actually killed the first one, but it's super cheap. I got it for like 50 bucks. So it's also super useful. Useful. It is a USB microphone, so it doesn't require any particular setup. And it does have a USB, sorry, a jack output that connects to the input of the camera. So I'm recording the audio with a microphone and also 
with the camera, like it's transmitted to the camera. Sadly enough, sadly enough, the camera adds this weird beep constantly. So I, I don't actually use the audio of the camera. I, at the same time, also record the audio with Audacity on my computer. So I record in both places places at the same time, but it makes it much, much easier to, you know, sync the video feed to the audio that I'm recording because I can just literally say, okay, I actually use, a, we'll get to that. Let me finish off this first. I, I'm, I'm not doing this correctly. <laughs> so uh, to record the video, I could use some like professional capture card that records the video to some S SSD or stuff, but that's expensive. I don't have the money. So I just do an actual recording which by the way is limited to 20 minutes. So every 20 minutes I have to stop the video and do it again. And then I have to separate the audio into 20 minutes chunks to realign everything. It's a bit of a mess, but you know, it works. To actually see myself whilst recording, which is super important, I need to know that I'm in focus, that the lighting is correct, correct. And you know, all of that, I actually use the HDMI out of the camera, not into a capture card, but directly into my monitor. So I start Audacity and then I change the monitor HDMI input and then I just have the camera, nothing else. Where do I actually see my script then? Well, I have always with me my little tablet, which is the JinkPad actually. So I keep all my notes in my JinkPad and you can often see me reading the notes. I, I'm not ashamed to say that sometimes I do have to read them. Most of the time I can just talk and whatever. To also check that the camera is recording correctly, I have to use another mirror because I, I, with this I see my image. I don't see anything else though. I don't see any UI. I actually have to put a mirror behind the camera that bounces off the image of the camera so I can actually see that yes, right now it is recording and nothing is going wrong. And if I had better eyes, I could also see what how much time I, had le I have left, but uh, it's too far, I can see. But yes, this is like the recording setup. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, I also have the camera plugged to power so that it never turns off. Then what I do is that I, of course I record on the SD card. I remove the SD card, put it into the computer. And then once it's into the computer, I start the editing phase. So first of all, I need to get my files in order. Right now I have my audio and then I have a video feed, different files. So I use this little tool, which I found on GitHub, which is called the sync start which analyzes the start of the two, like the video and the audio and tells me how far apart they are. And then I use FFmpeg to firstly cut a bit of the audio. I always start the audio first, so I have to cut a little bit of it. And then another FFmpeg command to switch the audio of the video with the audio of the microphone. And luckily enough, this takes very little. Keep in mind that I'm recording everything at 4K 60 frames per second. So we have like, I have like 20 gigabytes of video right now with me. So it's important that everything is fast in this phase. Then once I have the actual video with the correct audio, I can use auto editor, which very nicely enough just cuts off the silences, which is the first thing I would do anyway. So how I do that is that I don't actually let it do its thing because it would take hours on 17 gigabytes of video. What I do is that I tell him to export to a Premiere file, but luckily enough, Kidding Live is able to import Premiere files. So after all of this, I finally have my video on Kidding Live where, you know, I can actually start editing, adding images and such. I'm still experimenting a bit to find my own style of editing. Personally, I just fell in love with the various wipe effects that Kidding Live has. I'm just loving them. You, you, you will start seeing me use them everywhere. Sorry about that. But you know, it's the editing part. I add a little bit of background music. I change the colors. This is important. I pump up the saturation a little bit of lightness, I correct the white color, and then since my skin at this point is looking 
horrible. I use a three point thingy. I, I, I don't, I never studied colors. I don't know how any of this works, but I, I just select the color of my skin with the middle one of the three points thingy. And then I make it much less saturated and towards the center. And my skin kind of gets back to normal but everything is more lightful and everything. So this is how I do things. And I also add a little bit of contrast. So I do a bunch of color editing before I publish everything. Audio instead is pretty much left without any kind of editing. That, that's my actual audio. I don't know if I should be changing anything, to be honest. Finally, uh, how I actually manage uh, the whole project from an organizational point of view, I use Notion, which by the way, I totally hate. I hate Notion. Point is, it works. <laughs> and I, I, I wouldn't know how to switch to something else. So how I do this is that I have a giant table of all the videos and all of its info. And each video has a script or not quite script, but summary like all the important points I have to talk about. So whenever I take my Jing pad, I just open Notion on my tablet, open the summary, and I just read one point, and then I just talk about that point, then I stop, read one point, and then talk about that, and then auto editor is going to cut the silences. That works pretty well, in my opinion. I also do the surveys on my Twitter, Fostodon and Telegram channels very often. Sometimes I don't do them because I have a clear idea in mind. Sometimes I do. And basically what I do is that everything is organized still in the notion. You can see that projects have like uh, ways to tell them their, uh, how, how many people voted for them. And then I have a voting phase and then the best one gets into the in progress category. So I actually do it. The worst one gets into either the trash bin, if I, it's trash or the recycle bin, if I think there is any potential to use them in the future again. And that's pretty much it. There's also like a sponsor category. If I'm doing sponsors, I, I don't, I don't like doing them, but you know, I'm spending a lot of money with all of this. So it never hurts. What else? I mean, I think that's pretty much everything. That's how I do things around here. It's very complex. Um, but the funny thing is that uh, I'm also doing this for uh, other things. So the tripod, which by the way is new, that was uh, quite expensive as well, allows the camera to also rotate vertically, which I use for TikTok because I also do TikTok, con TikTok content, uh, basically in the same exact way, uh, sync start, Auto, auto editor and then Canyon Live. And you know, uh, I do TikToks about poetry and such. And then right now I'm also working on a, a very complex video about still a rap, uh, so poetry, but sung. And it's the same exact setup. I do the same things and uh, it's actually much more complex. Those videos are much more complex to do, but e you don't care about them, I guess. So let's skip that. What else? I think I talked about everything. So I, I do have a, a bunch of things that I would uh, need now to improve my setup. First of all, this microphone, love it. I need a better one. <laughs> like th this was literally 50 bucks. And uh, I, I think I can get higher quality if I finally get a sound card, XLS microphone, this, this kind of thing. I, I, I have to do it sooner or later. I prefer sooner. Also, by the way, I haven't said that, but um, to get my microphone close to my face, since I have to get very far from the camera, even further than you know my own desk, I use an Amazon uh, box <laughs> and I just put a microphone on top of it. I would love, I would kill for a microphone stand that actually reaches my mouth. But um, Amazon Prime box it is for now. I also would totally need for a decent capture card. Right now, if I want to do like a live stream or such, I just bought a $10 one, which does up to uh, 1080p 30 FPS, whereas my videos are 4K 60 FPS. So I mean, yay, but um, I would like to step that up a bit. That's everything. It's the fourth time I say this, but I think I said everything this time. 
So I don't know. Uh, thanks for following this more jokingly video. And uh, I would uh, like, I would, I would really want to highlight the fact that if I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this, like this looks like I'm the bad guy of some movie. That that is pretty fun. And also, whenever you see this uh, video, this style, uh, this is literally not in special. Like right now, I just turned off all the lights behind me, so the background is black, and I just can put some text on top. That works pretty well, I think. So thanks for following. So you should see my sponsors now. If you want to help me go on and buy new stuff, new lights. I know I've got too many lights, that's it. But, you know, microphone, capture card, these kind of things, external GPU, I would totally kill for an external GPU. Then you can just, you know, join the Patreon, help me out, these kind of things. Thanks for following and, um, ah, yes, final thing, if you see me with anything on my hand, it's either my pen, my phone, if the tablet broke and I'm reading the notes from the phone, I've got Notion in here as well, or this little uh, ball, ball of uh, something, which is, I use it as an anti-stress, like it's nice to have something in your hand to play with. Okay, that, that's it, I'm cutting the video because I won't stop talking otherwise.